Hey guys, welcome back to Angels of Death. So last time, uh, I don't remember what happened last time. I think Ray ran off, right? <coughs> Alright then. <laughs> Hey, come back here. Where the hell is she? Uh, then the toilet. Is she getting the toilet? There's no place to be sticking your hands into things. Uh, where'd she go? Oh, there's, I see. Is that a little hole down there? Hey, what's this doing? Fill up with water again. Don't tell me that she's in here. Yow! For crap's sake. I had a feeling this wouldn't work on you, Zack. Oh, is the game too loud? Let me, let me turn the volume down a little bit. Um, There we go. Thought I told her to wake up. What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you trying to kill me? Just because you're the master of this floor doesn't mean you have to kill me. Crap. That scared the crap out of me. Playing with fire, huh? I'll head you off and get you. Um. Hey, cut it out. Three, two, huh? One. Crap. Oh, well, this won't work either. But you really do hate fire, don't you? I'll mess you up. Come on, stop playing games, Ray. Did you run away to a room? Oh no! <laughs> Good Indiana Jones, this. Um, let's do this really fast. So I have to turn. Oh, I was about to run. <laughs> what? Hey, wait. What the hell? What? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't go in. <laughs> RPG Maker Games. Ah, come on! There we go. What the hell? That was too much crazy for me. Cut it out. Don't don't mess with me. Remember that, you idiot. Hey. How long you plan to keep running? Are you gonna shoot me? Will that kill you? If you're gonna kill me, then how's about I kill you first? It can't be that way now. Zack, it was useless from the very... I'm presuming that says start there, but I can't read it. Even now, my soul's telling me that I gotta die gotta be killed but God would never desire an ambition like me abomination ambition <laughs> he has no use for me it was you Zack who swore to God that you'd kill me but once I learned that God doesn't exist 
I made you my god, Zack. Ray, listen to me. How many times do I gotta say this? I ain't your god. Yes, I'm aware, Zack. What are you aware of? My lie's been exposed. My god is dead. Hey, wait! Damn it! She don't listen to what I gotta say and just says her piece and runs off on her own. Ah, Mendoza! Alright, where is she? Whoa. Ray? Another locked door. Wrong way. Down in the basement? Okay, where do you want me to go? To... To the other room? No, there is no other room. What you what you run off to? Where'd you go? Oh, there's a I keep forgetting there's a s staircase. <laughs> is she here? It's open. All you ever do is run away. Say something. Can't you take a hint that she has nothing to left to say to you? That was unlike you, leaving yourself open like that. Ah, <sighs> you bastard. You don't move or you're dead. Rachel. What took you so long? That's not like you. Hmm. Well, a monster like that would probably slow anyway down. But no need to worry now. Even he can't survive a shot to the head. You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, doctor. Rachel? Rachel? Dr. Danny. Zack's mine to kill. Ah. Huh. Is that so? <laughs> that makes sense. Besides, I'm too tired to go on. I want to finish this. I'm sorry, Dr. Danny. I can't live with you. No. 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 I've already killed and created a family, so I won't be forgiven anyway. It's over. I don't care even if it's not my god, doesn't matter anymore. But Zack, last thing I want to make you mine by my own hands. If you want it so bad, then do it. You want to die? You want me dead? You want to end this? Which is it? None of what you're saying makes a bit of sense. I know that. Well then quit saying such stupid crap. I don't mean to. I'm dead serious. I'm serious about killing you. Is that so? Killed by a pin-sized squirt like you. Pint-sized squirt like you. Pfft, not happening. No, no, Zack. If you want it to end so bad, then we'll end it. No, no, no! What's the problem? I'd be granting your wish. Don't kill me, not like this. Don't kill me. Huh? 
It's just that you are no longer my god. I no longer have any need for my own god. My god is dead. Oh, that's right. I killed your god. I killed it. Uh, but I'm not dead. Do you catch my drift? Who said they'd kill you? Oh my god. No. Me. It was me. Not someone else or your god. I will kill you. But I... That can't be. I'm defiled. Who do you think you're talking to here? I'm a killer. Killing's my passion. I've killed more than I can count. But... I'd never run around all psychotically like you and Danny. I don't... Well, I don't crap about your parents or God, but there's no reason to go around making them excuses for your actions. I, for one, set my heart on what I want and act on my own viol militia violation. If I'm my own man, then you're your own woman, right? Am I wrong? I'm my own woman? a girl. If you're your own woman, then grab life by the balls. Take control, damn it. <laughs> hey Ray. You see me. Who am who am I? Zack. Yep, and not some god, right? Yeah. You were Zack all along. Hey, you're too damn serious for a crazy woman. Hey, Ray. Look who's in front of you. Me. If you can grasp that concept. Ray, desire me. If you want to die, swear an oath for me to kill you. Swear it for yourself. And swear it for me. What's going on? Why is it blank? Ah, oh, she's crying. Okay. Okay. I swear it. Oh man, she's really crying now. I swear to you, Zach. And I swear right back at you. <laughs> Aww, that's messed up, but also adorable. <laughs> hey, how long are you gonna sniffle like that for? But my nose is running by itself. You dummy. There's no need to say that. Our plan is to get out of here, so do something about that, will you? Okay. Hold it. Ain't this your floor? You know the way out. To tell you the truth, I have no memory of going above here. What? Give me a freaking break. I wasn't paying attention, but there's a foyer in the living room. Well then, let's go check out the foyer first. Alright. Yay, we're Reagan. Haha, <laughs> get cucked. 
Get cooked, Danny. Hey. Zack? Okay, he ain't going anywhere. So it seems. I don't trust that. He's probably still alive. Being the, the mad father that he is. Uh, foyer, right? We're going to foyer? Alright. Don't you dare move when I leave this room. I'm looking at you. Gotta check out the living room's foyer first. And where would that be? I'm looking at you, Daddy. You better not move. Wh where do you want me to go, right? Here? Huh? Isn't this a wall? I'm not mistaken. This should be the foyer. Zack, give it a hard shove. Now you're talking. <laughs> I knew it would open. Look, you didn't have to hack it to bit, Zack. Bah, it opens, who cares? I see. It opens, so that's all that matters. Aw, oh, <laughs> Did you move? We better not. A dead end? But let's take a look around just in case. Books. Nothing inside the cardboard box. The cardboard box only contains garbage. The dumpster appears empty. Hey, not even any part dirt to hint. What? That's odd. Something feels off. Ain't this your floor? Think of... Think of what? Let's figure out where the exit might be. Maybe it's somewhere we've never been. Or in this floor. On this floor. Now I've checked everywhere, every nook and cranny, besides the room when I was sitting trapped, setting trap, whatever. I gotta hand it to you. I'm um, a. I... Damn, this makes no sense. Has there anybody ever come down here from upstairs before? That can't be. I mean, anyone besides you would die in the trap, so we'd know. Probably so. So nobody came down from upstairs, huh? Yeah, something sure doesn't make any sense. Nobody came from upstairs. That's... Oh no, it's just a... Uh, ending changing... Oh no. Is this an ending changing, um, thing, Majiggy? You must already be on the ground floor. You're crapping me! Then let's smash a wall and get out of here already! Huh? The wall just caved in. It did lead outside. I'm sorry, maybe I give up. What? Think it over again. <laughs> okay. Please just not, um, I think this is a no-no, so strange. Wait, that's strange. After all, Dr. Danny went in and out of the building. The traps and furniture for this room were all things that he brought outside. Huh? What do you mean? Give me a second, I'll think it over. Come on, Sherlock, hurry it up. Nobody's come down to this floor from outside, but Dr. Danny came and went as he pleased, which means... Oh, come on, there's a way out on another floor. This way, you want me on... There's a warp that takes people... No, that's, that's, that's definitely not it. Um this then that means we gotta look harder, right? Got any ideas? Honestly not not a one. Ah nothing. Well anyway, let's start smashing too. <laughs> huh? Okay, I see. Can I please save wanna see all of the all of them? 
Nothing. There's no use in smashing walls like half hearted or whatever. Besides, to tell the truth, I sort of doubt there's a way out of this floor. Damn, yes, then think it over again. Okay, so if it's green, it's correct. There's another way out on this floor. Uh, what do you mean by that? When you came... Wh when you came, were the other killers, Kathy and Eddie, already in this building? Huh? Oh, those weirdos? I barely spoke to them since they are all freaks. Just as I suspected, which means... I'm the last one to come to this building. In that case... Just smash a wall. <laughs> um, there's no really, there's no point in going upstairs. So, upstairs. yep, there it is, correct. Zach, let's go downstairs. What? Downstairs. There may be a way out downstairs on floor B two. Who's, who's floor B two again? Isn't that um, Kodamini's floor? Makes no freaking sense. Are you psych a, a psychic or something? There wasn't a need for a way out to be inside this room. In other words, my floor, this floor, should be the very last one made. In that case, when this room was made, there was already a way leading outside. You and I were surely brought in here from there. Dr. Danny, who I, met, whom I met outside, had this room built by the Reverend later on, so I think it wasn't like linked to 1F. <coughs> the fact that I've never seen anyone come downstairs is proof. I'm not sure what to make of all of this. You did go downstairs, right? Right. Plus, I recall that the switch to go downstairs is somewhere on this floor. That should be all we need. If you say so, then I'm game. Let's move out. Okay. The switch should be somewhere around the music box in the basement. He's not- oh, he's still there. <laughs> See you later, Danny. Hey, what gifts? Let's head downstairs. Zack, is it alright if I go downstairs alone? Huh? What the hell for? This will also be the last time I come here. So I thought this would be a good place to say goodbye. Why are you going by yourself? It's embarrassing having someone else watching, I guess. Maybe that's why. Just so you know, I slaughtered those mangy mutts. Did you? Sounds like something right up your alley. I'll keep watch, so hurry up and go. What you gotta do? What? Okay, I'll be right back. See ya. Ah. The music box is playing. Does that mean it, the lid's open? Sure is. Kodamine, are you here? Nope, Kodamine is not here. Oh, there he is. I didn't see. <laughs> Great camouflage, Kodamine. Greetings, Rachel Gardner. Why? My handgun's gone. I must have dropped it in the living room. Calm down. No harm shall come to you. Then what do you want from me? Oh, I mean to decide to ask you some questions, that is all. Rachel Gardner, Zack was not your god after all, correct? Yes. And I've come to terms with that. Yes, or so it would seem. 
but is that something you truly accept in your heart? Zack and I aren't gods. We just swore oaths to each other. Precisely. Zack is no longer your god. No longer is he absolute. You have made Zack into a being that is not an angel nor a god. How shall I put it? A being who will grant your wishes without question is no more. What? It was an oath forged with one of it who is not God. Betrayal is con conceivable. Nevertheless, if you have faith that your oath is absolute, then how does it differ from any God? I never really thought of it as absolute. Is that so? I certainly do have faith in Zack. That much is true. But our sworn oath is in, and faith in one another is something we each decided in our hearts. Therefore, even if that is betrayed, it's my heart that has faith in him. My heart is mine alone to bear. I'm prepared to accept something different to God. I see. And yet you still desire your own death. Yes, I do. How? How can you alter your beliefs as such, yet you desire to remain unchanged? What? It's not that I, it's not that I myself have changed as a person. I just learned to accept myself, that's all. And I no longer want to forgive that side of myself. No one's left to forgive me. Which is why I wish to die. I can't go on living. So you have... So you have willed this upon yourself. Yes, and... The rest had better keep secret. It is a shame to us if you simply renounce God. Oh, um... You need not stare at me so. You need not stare at me so. It is not late for that now. I have one final question. Who are you, Rachel Gardner? Please stop asking me that over and over. I am me, nothing more, nothing less. Oh, I see. You speak as if you stand with Zack as an equal. That too may not be entirely mistaken. A child who is neither an angel nor a witch. There is nary a doubt in my mind that you are indeed Rachel Gardner. Yes. Is that all? If we're done here, then let me press the activation switch for the return of Vader. Yes, it was you must. You won't stop me? Did I not make myself clear? I shan't stand in your way. Apart from that, Rachel Gardner, it would not hurt to have a little grace. Oh, I'm getting it here. I think the next one's gonna be the last one, I th right? I think so. So, um, see you next time. Bye.